What is good, everyone? We are hot off the presses of SummerSlam, and you know who else is hot off the presses? Oh, that's Ron. Right. Ron is here. Yes. Hi. Also, the Stewarts. Holt Stewart, probably, wait, Holt Stewart? Hunter Stewart? Yeah, what did, got it. What did Samantha Irving say? Accompanied uh, to the ring by Hunter, so Holt is in this match. This is a one-on-one -on -one match with uh, two tag teams. Uh, Cody Rhodes definitely, for some reason, he's picking favorites between the Stewarts because Holt was in the Money in the Bank ladder match, and now he's... Uh, Gonna go one on one with one of the tag team champs, tag champs. And That's you know, I'm right. not, I, I'm not all against it. The Stewards, probably the greatest tag team of our current roster, thus far. <clears throat> it, they certainly put on a hell of a show. Uh, it, fighting these, ugh, these sickening bastards. Hey, you cannot deny that they. Had a grueling Extreme Rules. It wasn't because of them. It was because the match type was Extreme Rules. That's true. And, and, and as well, even the boat line had a great match. Uh, with, with uh, you know, with these idiots. Although, again, as we've kind of established, uh, much of that is because of their opponents. Hard carried. Oh, they're from Manchester, England. You gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, Manchester, England, England, across the Atlantic Sea. And I saw, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a genius genius. I don't remember the song. Okay? I'm okay. glad you at least know the reference. <laughs> I'm blanking out. Great, great. Uh, Manchester, England, England, across the Atlantic Sea. And I'm a genius, genius, I believe in God. And I believe that God believes in Claude, that's me. Dang. And they point at each other because <laughs> they don't know which one's gonna be the Genetti. They're both the Genetti. I hate to break <laughs> it to you. Both the Genetti, yeah. We don't talk about who's the Genetti because every other tag team is absolutely great, except for Wade and Morgan. They're both yep. Marty Genetti to me. Undefeated, by the way. <laughs> Technically, they were defeated by the Stewarts in a draw. You may claim, <clears throat> Ron, that that was a countout victory for the Stewarts. And I do. Uh, ref's discretion. You know how it is. Well, oh my goodness. Bumps. Oh, no, oh my god. They're going to blind Sammy immediately. I guess that LASIK is failing him, but you know it's good to see our, our, our usual staff here. Good to see. Come on. Listen. And I heard, and I heard this... Derek Moore has been training uh, to potentially get in the ring. Yeah, he's been uh, getting in some of that self-defense classes, you know. If someone takes a bump, you gotta friggin' uh, put them in their place. Stop with the submission. Th this might be the worst match ever. Faux oh, submission. come on! How and many times do you have Wade to go for a figure freaking four? And of course it's Wade Morgan is the one that's ruining all of this. Wade Morgan <clears throat> is the Genetti. This is the worst. Ugh. Come on, Holt. You, you you can do it. You're the underdog in this situation, Holt. Hold You're on, the I th favorite. I, I, I think I know how to describe this uh, this situation to, to describe what we're looking at. Uh, Alexander Scott is the Marty Jannetty and Wade Morgan is the Brian Kendrick. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not <laughs> wrong. 
Because obviously Scott is the Gennetti, because Wade Morgan's always getting, like... I, I don't remember a damn thing about Alexander Scott. But Wade Morgan definitely is the one that you think of when you think of an in Invictus match, I think. <clears throat> More or less. But yeah, no, oh my goodness. Oh my god. I thought he was going to go for an elbow drop. As well... <laughs> Well, that certainly was a thing that happened. You know, it's a good thing that uh, first night or first match, match of the night clause is in effect because uh, match of the know, night, honestly, highlight match, whatever we're gonna call it. Because I've been posting more than just one match as a separate thing. Oh my! Did he counter a possum pin? I I think he did. And wait, looks like he was going to go for a, a signature of some sort. But Holt, trying to make his comeback. Because he's trying working. to come back. He's trying to get some payback with a figure four beatdown. From the figure fours. What are you doing? Oh. Oh no. 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 He, he hasn't worked the arms. It's not going to work. No, it's, it's not going to work, but I can't please, believe Wade Morgan has a fucking armbar as a finish. You've got to no! be kidding me! No! You, Mark. You did not work the arm a single time in that match. No, no, it's you. Me? No, you. Boo. Boo this man. There was supposed to be a spot, and he ruined it. Six minutes. Seven minutes. Right here. Tonight. Ugh. Oh. Better matches coming up tonight here on Raw. We'll be Guaranteed. right back. Guaranteed. We'll be right back. And we're back in what is an interesting match here. Uh, an odd choice to say the least. Y you know, I feel like this match has been building up subtly. But, uh, potentially. Yeah, yeah, Jay Scanton, uh, out here tonight, uh, without his Money in the Bank briefcase, if you watch SummerSlam, he, that got stolen from him. <laughs> That's right, and, and, has there been any resolution to that point about what we're doing about, uh, that briefcase? Will Jay Scanton, uh, be getting the, the case of Pepsi back, or is that simply, was that Chris Dangerous to have now spent and, well, wasted? Well, uh, we'll have to get an interview with Cody Rhodes. He'll probably say that the ref tried to fuck on him. It sounds about <laughs> right. That, that ref tried to fuck on me. <laughs> and not even Vince could, could figure out what to do about that line. But, uh... I'm not sure if we've talked about this with you before, Ron, or if you've watched the product. Uh, last Royal Rumble, these were the final two. Uh, you have told me about this. Okay. There are some little bits of detail that just I forget sometimes. And well, I sometimes forget. That is okay. I sometimes forget that I don't think these two have had a rematch. Like, every time we try to build it up, it's like, up, oh, gotta do some other match, gotta do this match, gotta set him up for, uh, WrestleMania. Oh, um, Mike Savage isn't in the Ro in Money in the Bank. Nope, can't have that. Well, Royal Rumble winner and a Money in the Bank winner enter the ring. And neither of them have anything to do with Cody Rhodes, as you can clearly tell by their appearance, <coughs> tattoos, moveset. I think they'd make a pretty good tag team. They might make a good tag team. The they, not they... Cody Rhodeses. <laughs> the elite. <laughs> Cody Rhodes elite. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> They're the ones who beat Invictus. Oh my... Well, you know what? As long as somebody beats Invictus. I joined Ooh. live and all I heard was, That ref tried to fuck on me. What in the world have I gotten into? Uh, welcome to Monday Night Raw, episode 14, I believe it was. Something like that. 
Uh, that that is, by the way, a legendary story that Cody Rhodes tells the 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 fuck on me story. The Daniel Bryan Ted DiBiase kicking out at he he definitely kicked out at two. Ref didn't see yeah. it. Ref actually tried to fuck on him, and, and we were. Uh, we were talking about how these two could form a tag team. They've got good color schemes. I'm just going to say it. They should yeah. form a tag team. They should. And again, uh, a tag team that has nothing to do with Cody Rhodes. Th these two have been around since season one. They should form a tag team for all I care. I also blanked out. What <clears throat> uh, Did anything happen? I was looking at chat for a bit. Uh, no, it, it's been a solid match so far. Um, uh, nothing setting the nothing setting the world on fire, but we're seeing kind of the early, oh, uh, the early makings of a of a nice, well paced match. Definitely. Uh, I mean, it's not slowed down by four submissions. I mean, it's oh a my. sleeper hold. You know, you gotta you gotta slow it down a bit. And that was just one submission. It's not like four submissions in the span of a minute. Yeah, exactly. Northern Lights suplex by Jay Scanton to Mike Savage. Mike Savage, former Japan United States champion, taking on someone who... Uh, he, <laughs> I almost said who hasn't won a championship. Uh, former A champion, Jay Scanton. <clears throat> That's right. His only win last season. His only win. And now he, he's, he's racked up a few, including oh against Fred and Nate Bomb Death. Wait a minute. No British suplex via Mike Savage's Scanton reversing it. The winds seem to have changed, but it feels like Mike Savage is kind of losing his touch with the oh. Superman punch out of nowhere. Scanton looking to end it. Superman punch which has nothing to do with Roman Reigns now, but Mike Savage kicking out. I think that was only at one. Of course, chat asking about what their tag team name could be. We've already said this. This is Cody Rhodes's elite. Oh right. my! He just he just he just countered that punch. He did. Now Mike Savage is back in control here. Oh my! I forgot. Is this his finish? I don't know what to call it. I don't have his name. I, I don't have the Mike Savage name sheet. Count it. Ooh. Ooh, one, two, no can do. A close <clears throat> one, to be sure. And the crowd chance we're not worth it, but... You... This is... This is... This is some this fire is good. right here. This is yeah, good. Yeah, this is good. This is a good match. Finally, a good match. <laughs> Pop-up punch. <laughs> and he's marking out. <laughs> Work the arms. Good psychology there. Good psychology. Working the arms. Unlike a certain someone who won a match without working the arms. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh. Sling Blade. Savage Slam. No, no, no. There's a, like, he, there's a list, and I don't remember. It has the list of all the finishers. Oh. Tortellini. Spinal Tap. Spiral Tap. By Mike Savage. That's... I think he called it the tortellini. I think that's what we gotta call it. I call it the tortellini. And that's oh! the finish! He won what off I... the tortellini! Well, that... <laughs> he won off the tortellini. It's a shame that Jay Scanton couldn't win. Certainly a treat for us to see these two crowd competitors here. And oh my goodness, Ron. A oh! handshake. We could see... Could this be the start of an unlikely friendship, an unlikely tag team, mutual respect displayed. We'll be right back. And we're back. Women? Women handshake? Women handshake? Women handshake? No, no, no oh. women handshake. Women special slap. You now can't, women that's fight. Why you can't trust the French. The Spanish. The Spanish. It, she is from... The very center of the known universe. Guadalajara, Guadalajara Jalisco, Mexico. That's it. We were, we were this close to saying the same thing, and it would have been awesome. Yeah. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The WrestleMania spot. Absolutely. 
Lariat trying to get a quick win here. Line Sammy only counting one. Of course, because that's the number of finger you have. You know, one has to assume that if one of the referees is based off of a real person, this guy's also based off of a real person. We could find out who it is, but... We're never going to find out no. who it is. Listen, Derek Moore was just a thing because, you know, it's not like in the... Uh, okay, fine, we'll break kayfabe. Friggin' it always had the same referee uh, in the 2K20. It, well, it wouldn't, like, switch back and forth, like, in this game. I'm not sure why that's the case. Anyway, enough breaking kayfabe. Uh, let me remind you that Lariat <clears throat> is kicking Marcy's ass. Oh, yeah. It's not even close so far. It's, oh, what is Lariat setting up for? Le Marcy hasn't won a single gosh darn match. Well, Springboard shotgun dropkick putting Nar Marcy on her back. Indeed. But Marcy, I think Marcy may have heard us talking shit. Kicking out at one. Oh, what is this? Glam slam. Little. The... It... Bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got me some what pizza was that? rolls. Was she to go for figure four and then said, nah, fuck that. That's too much effort. We've seen too many figure fours. Yeah. It, it, it. If I don't see another figure four for the entire night, it'll be too soon. No, Marcy, stop being a local competitor. You're from Australia. That's the only thing I remember about you. Oh, I'm glad you remember that she's from Australia, because I completely forgot. <laughs> we don't have women matches that often, Ron. No, we don't. If it's not Akira Yamashita, uh, it's very difficult to get me invested. Oh my goodness, what a comeback. She just threw a spirit bomb at her. Oh my! Oh? Combos? Oh? Oh, uh, no sold. Michinoku Driver, that's the finish. Well, well Marcy, it could have been the finish. Marcy, Marcy, uh, you did good. You got your comeback in, but unfortunately, uh, Lariat with the spinning reverse. Uh, okay, uh, that was... Kick out of her finish. Oh my! And oh, the crowd no, chants AEW. AEW. Yep, yep great. the show's ruined. Oh my goodness, that that was awesome. It was marred only by the fact that the crowd is chanting for AEW, which I may remind the audience is on the moon. Play WWE 2K20 instead. Yes. Up oh, to the top rope. What's Marcy thinking? Can she turn the tide to her favor with a double axe handle off the top rope? Right onto her opponent's back. Double axe handle? Isn't it just an axe handle? <clears throat> What's a single axe handle then? <laughs> Impotently slamming your fist. That's just a hammer Logic. fist, though. Yeah, it's just a hammer fist. Yeah. Why not call it the double friggin' noggin knocker? I don't know. Which is weird because, like, like a, a, a 12 to 6 fist drop like that would be called a double axe handle. But if you do it 3 to 9 or 9 to 3, both hands, oh, it's a Polish this. hammer. So, like, the hammer theme continues. It's just for some reason... Wrestling is decided when you do it in one direction, it's a double axe handle. But not a single axe. You know what? Tornado DDT springboard off the bottom rope. That's the finish. It might Jay's be the finish. Christian. Never mind. Oh my goodness. Her hand, it's praying to God. It's having a little shake, rattle, and roll. Yep. yep. Kip up. No soul oh. being countered. Oh, no. It's still not looking good for Marcy. She just needs to get a move in. <laughs> You've built up your momentum, girl. Do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. Do the move. big girl move. Do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. Kick her in the shins. <laughs> I do the big girl move. 
Or a oh, there head. you go. Oh, yeah, no, do the big girl move. You just did the big girl move. Reverse hard cam, that's your big girl move. I should be working on my camera angles. Do you think Underneath. Roadblock is at home? Do you think Roadblock is at home hoping that the fudge does the big girl move onto him? Well, I mean, he's not on tonight's card. Maybe. Choking Dude, the life out of Lariat. Oh, but Lariat coming back here. Oh, my Mar goodness. Marcy has a chance to steal a win here. It's not looking good, but she's still in this. Oh, where's Lariat going? What is she thinking? I don't know. Went up to go down, to go up, to go down. Certainly wasn't a tortellini. Oof. Up. And she's calling for another reverse. Oh! Oh, oh. reverse! What are you doing, Marcy? Moon salts! Oh. Okay, screw We're... cross body, but. Oh, now Marcy is looking to fly. Come on! Okay. You go up to go down. You gotta, gotta get up to go down. Uh, no arm, no double underhook pedigree. Uh, up to the top rope. What you thinking? Oh! Is the fudge on tonight, or is she on roadblock? She's not here. Listen, we got two women's matches, and that's more than enough for Cody Rhodes. Yes, and also, you have your answer right there. She's on roadblock. The rear view! Oh! I can't believe that's her finish! Um, the down under! <laughs> no! No! Oh. The down under! Marcy went for the down under, but Lariat said, Sorry, sweetheart, I'm strictly dickly. And the crowd chants for women's wrestling after the rear view? Well. Moonsault again by Marcy. She could finally. I haven't been keeping track of wins and losses. That's all right. Um, it, it, Marcy hasn't won any matches. That's all you really need to know. Up into the corner. What's Marcy thinking? And reversed. And in the corner. And trio woe. Uh oh. Ooh, back and oh. forth. Counter city. Population down under. There it is. I can't believe that's the finish. Marcy said, you are going to enjoy the taste of fish. Here is your oh, God. <laughs> what is up? Well, the, the unpredictable? Okay. The unpredictable Marcy pulled off an unpredictable win. Certainly unpredicted. Honestly, I'm surprised. Good match here from the two women in this match. We'll be right back. And we're back. Probably the last match. But between these two teams. The last match between these two teams. That's what I was trying to say. But what is going on? Oh my goodness. Ron. The homeless what? crisis is on the rise. Oh my god. Put some pants on! I can't believe it. Hobo I can Jones. Just smell them from here. Oh, it's disgusting. And Ugh. El Lobo. Oh. Oh. But, oh this my. Is... They're, they're. They're. They're remounting their forces. The homeless crisis is on the rise. With uh, El Lobo bringing in uh, Captain Crack and Crackhead the Clown. Gotta put a paper bag back in Hobo Jones' head. Oh. But well. Nick Sullivan looking to put an end to the homeless crisis. At a combined weight of 488 pounds. The heroes we need. 
the Sullivans here are going to put an end to the homeless crisis. And I understand we're lowering some uh, uh, protective barriers, some protective glass around Samantha Irvin, because Dan Sullivan is here in attendance. He's ringside. Well, he's right here, you know. I mean, we are the elite. Samantha Irvin is also a part of the elite, and uh, Cody Rhodes made AEW. <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh, Cody, what are you doing? <laughs> Why did you make AEW? Yeah. Well, I, you know, that's why Mini Mank had to send it to the moon. Trudge Bank. Oh, Trudge Bank, yeah, my bad. Speaking of Mini Mank, he'll be in the main event tonight. Number one contenders for a tight. <laughs> Come <What>? on. <laughs> Dan Sullivan punching Hobo Jones, and Nick just looked absolutely disappointed. Well, thankfully, uh, uh, Captain Crack put on. A couple more clothes. Yeah, I, I think one of the cameraman just gave him some clothes to put on real quick. Yeah. What was I talking about? The main event. Uh, number one contendership on the line between Mini Mank, Lunatic, and the returning Chris Danger. After men... his... That's right. All men having their own right to fight for the championship. The champion, Trudge, Mank, who's gotten his name back. Especially he did after get his name back. He oh, got, yeah. He's got his name back. I legitimately forgot that, that the Trudge, that Trudge Mank, won the title. I forgot that, that in, in that great match that he, he, he won it back from... Uh, or not won it back, but you know. At least we got to see Grand Slam Mank. Oh my. Grand Slam Mank it was definitely, possibly, the last thing that Mini Mank needed to do in his career. And he did it too early. He should have waited for WrestleMania. Oh, what's this? Double gut buster from Hobo Jones to Nick Sullivan. Things are not looking good for Nick Sullivan. The homeless crisis really taking a beating to Nick Sullivan. Nick Sullivan really wanting to prove that he's going to be the ender of the homeless crisis. This uh, but, team, yeah. of course, at SummerSlam winning that great uh, Survivor Series SummerSlam match. Yeah. But... Yeah. Oh... Oh, what is Reminder, this? the Sullivans... Come on! You don't need to beat up Dan Sullivan. We get it. You have lipstick on. That doesn't mean you fight Dan Sullivan. <laughs> All this while Nick Sullivan stays on the top rope. Talk about a spot. Yeah, that was a spot. His foot's under the ropes. Clear as day. Up against the reverse. Nick Sullivan bold working on Nick the arm. Nick Sullivan, yeah, working the arm, but bold to get him into the opposition's corner. You have to believe that this is just a product of Nick Sullivan's hate for the homeless. Looks like the cr crackhead, the clown, may have distracted Nick Sullivan for a second. As we all know, Nick Sullivan will end the homeless crisis by any what? Duck dive, dip, dip, dodge, and dive. That's it. Side front Russian leg sweep. Into the mountain punches. You know, we, we, we keep getting distracted by this amazing match right here. Uh, but elimination style, triple threat. Uh, last man, uh, falls count anywhere. Uh, last man to make it out uh, becomes number one contender, fights the Trudge Bank at payback or whatever the next show is. Look, the point is, we're doing this for Sully. For Sully Sullivan. Sully Dick Sullivan. Sullivan Richard Sullivan! He just friggin... He, he friggin yelled and then tagged his brother in. 
Oh, wait! They did the tag team finish! Oh my goodness! They did the tag team finish! You've got to be kidding me, Ron! They did it! They did it! Oh my fucking god! They, Newts, Newts, and John will never believe it. But they just did the tag team finish. Match of the night. This is match, our match. Of, the match night. of the night. Match of the night. You know what? Screw whatever the main event is. This match is awesome. We this now have tag team now. finishers. No. Nick Sullivan's momentum bar. What is wrong with it? The game can't handle the fact that Nick hit the tag team finish. It won't reset. Whatever. We got tag team finishers in the game now. Oh yes. My God. Yes. Yes. Nope. Oh my goodness. I was wondering, like, why why did he get his finisher up? What was the point? And then he did the tag team finish. Oh my goodness. I, it, it, what a time to be alive. Oh my, pop-up pin. Kicks out. Dan Sullivan not gonna eat your move. No, hell no. Dan match of the, the, match of the year team. right now. Yeah, match, Dan, of, the match year. of the year. What the fuck? I don't care about the main event of main event. This this right here is match of the year. Spot of the year. The tag team finish. If the only we could get uh, custom signs to work right now. Yeah, give, give that give give 2K another year. By the time 2K25 comes out. They'll fix the signs. And they'll also uh, turn off community creations. Uh, oh my goodness, what an elbow from Captain Crackhead. But no, a kick out from Dan Sullivan. But Dan's got to fight his way out of this one. Oh German, followed by another German, and the trifecta is incomplete without the third German. Do the tag team finish. They did already. Do it again, please. Yeah, do it again, please. We need this in our lives. I just, I just need, I just need to see the tag team finish because now we know that they actually work. Oh, Newt's is not going to believe this. Newt's is we never to... going to believe this. I should have fucking hit my clip button. I was so taken aback by the fact that they did tag team finish that I'm only now thinking about, wait, I have a button to create a clip. I could have just created a clip of the tag team finish. I wasn't even in the right camera angle to get the tag team finish because I didn't think he was going to hit the tag team finish. Possum no. pin. Wait a minute. What is this? No. Uh, no. Dan Sullivan tried to steal the win here. Of course the first... Yes. 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 Please. Uh. No. Oh. 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 Uh. oh. Wait a minute. Oh, yes! The tag team finish! I just created a clip. Yes! Oh, yes. Yes, yes. No! Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's like the double electric pop-up electric chair. That's a Sullivan's. Yeah, that sounds about right for the Sullivan's. No! <laughs> don't. Don't think it. Don't say it. Don't call it the... No. Oh! <laughs> Leg! Oh. Big leg lariat. I'm surprised that Captain Crackhead got a massive beating on him. Same, but I'm also giddy about the fact that we saw not one, but two tag team finishes. I hope we see a third one. Please. Toss him, Toss him into the corner. Sullivan's versus Invictus can't happen soon enough. Yeah, at this point. Now that the Sullivan's are hitting the tag team finish, we need that in our lives. It makes it even better because friggin' 
Dan and Nick Sullivan's finish, it's either the diving headbutt or the crossface, and that's a million times better than how Invictus ends a match. And now they can do the tag. Yes, yes. Oh, please. Third please, time. Please, please. Third please. time's the charm. Oh. Works the leg. Okay, good psychology. Good psychology. Pushes him. Oh, wait. Suplex into a pin. Nice. Nice float over suplex. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, the boys aren't going to believe this. No. It's over with. Finally. We can now give tag teams their finisher names. I mean, submissions <laughs> to the outside are fine. It's not going to end a match. Now, the key I mean, question is, what is the Sullivan's tag team finish called? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Listen, the only thing I know is the meme team having more bang, and uh, right. obviously the homeless, the homeless crisis, yep. $5 is $5. Oh my goodness, dive off the top rope, do the tag team finish. Nick Sullivan breaking it up. This is better than SummerSlam. No this pay per view. Is this... Yeah, this is not the match of the decade because they hit two tag team finishes. Nick Sull the Sullivans versus the Homeless Crisis is <laughs> not something I thought would be this good. This is this is high impact, high intensity. Superman <laughs> punch. Oh, oh my! No. no. Not like no, this. No, not like this. No! Aww. The Homeless Crisis win on an episode of Raw. The Homeless Crisis finally on the rise. And tag team finishers exist. The tag team finishers are on the rise, but... You know, we should have finished the job at the Halloween Massacre at the 7-Eleven. We we'll all know right. how that story went. We'll be right back. And we're back with more tag team action. Oh, this is going to be so great. This is... This, I am elated. Euphoric, even. Not because I know that tag team finishers can be hit, but because... The meme team are going to hit their tag team finishes. After three years! Three years, Ron! I know. It's been so long, and that means... Aw oh man, tag team finishers. That means... That means I can have the Trudge Mank and the Mini Mank team up and do the 10-foot Impaler. <laughs> Watch as the or the assistant impaler if the trudge is hitting the DDT. <laughs> I like the ten foot impaler. I mean, when you're on the shoulders of the trudge mank, you're essentially ten feet in the air. That's true. You are drowning with the trudge mank, also. Um, Raise him up. That's what that, that that's what the fudge calls uh, riding roadblock, the ten foot impaler. God fucking damn it! <laughs> We're, We're raising him up. We're out of the PG era. This is Netflix raw. This is Netflix raw. That's why we are having literal fights, blood fights at a Seven Eleven next year. Raw Underground is back. That's we right. We need the 7-Eleven. <laughs> Cody you know Rhodes. What? Cody Rhodes is having a contractual agreement with the owner of 7-Eleven, which is why we can't get answers on the Jay Scanton situation. Well, until then, in 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 all of our chats, in the Ron chat and Isword chat, raise them the fuck up for the bowline. Raise them up. For our almost Grand Slam champion, Drew Bowman. God, within the span of a month, the Japan United States champion and the A champion. That man is a legend. I'm just saying, Blaze should have 
ask for Drew to help in a tag team match with Invictus. But unfortunately, Invictus are fighting a tag team that they technically didn't win a match against. Well, nevertheless, unfortunately, uh, Invictus did claim a Singles boringly win. clean, yeah, a, 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 but they also claimed a, a boringly clean win over uh, the Stewarts, putting to bed any sort. Ah, Derek Moore. Derek Moore is here, but you know, I am excited for this match. We get to see uh, one of my favorite teams, the Bowline, taking on a classic meme team, and. The previous match showed us that <laughs> tag team finishers are in the game. <laughs> that means everything. No, it, it happened twice in the last match. That just goes to show that it's going to happen. I want it to happen. I need it yeah, to happen Yeah, I really want again. this to happen again. But Lane, Blow and, uh, Lane, Lane Bowman getting Thanos into his own corner. The youngest of the bowline starting things off with the Destroyer of Worlds, Thanos. There's the two big beefy boys here just square it off. Uh, big and beefy, but uh, remember, Lane is a bit um, new to the business, as it were. He's a bit green. Mm. Uh, Blaze, uh, being the middle child, had some uh, spots in the indies with uh, Drew. Uh, you know, winning tag team champions with him in the uh, indie scene. Are we the That's indie right. scene? Yeah, if yeah. Only he, if only he could have won those tag team championships in monkey wrestling. <sighs> monkey wrestling is an indie. That's right. Yeah, monkey wrestling were the good old days, especially for the women's wrestling division. Well, that that stuff was awesome. Well, for now, here we are. Thanos. It looks like they're really trying to set up for more bang here. Yeah, I really want a tag team finish. I don't care who hits it. I would love to say the same, but you know me. I always mark out for the bow line. Oh. Into the other corner lane. Not wanting to tag out just yet, but instead goes for some snake eyes, followed Ooh. by a big boot. And oh. Thanos decides to waste his energy on that one. He decides and, to no-sell that. Oh, I thought we were going to see the big boot snake eyes combo again. So did I Double. instead. Ooh, big flapjack. Blaze. Showing that despite his small stature, he can still fight the biggest of foes. Working the arm on like a certain someone else. That's right. Blazebone actually showing good psychology. And remember, they are not lame and blame Bowman. And they do not have a finisher that is a arm-based submission. And they'll still work the arms. It's like every tag match is a heavy disrespect towards... Holy oh! DDT! For you and me, baby! You, the height that friggin' Blaze had to do, full 360 on that one, that's, that was just... That's, yeah. Well, that's just the power of the bowline here. That's why we acknowledge the bowline and our tribal beef, the head of the Babel. You could feel the torque, the momentum in that turn. Yeah. And that gives it its impact, but in the corner, Shrek working on the leg of Blaze Bowman. My mustache is too long, it's getting in my mouth. You know, I hate that feeling. And I know exactly what that feels like, but Shrek having donned the crimson mask is now putting the splash, sending sending Blaze to the swamp. Oh my goodness. Oh my elbow drop. Crimson Mask off that amazing DDT. I I, 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 I like that DDT. I, I, yeah, I'm same. That was a really good my, spot. It was really, it was a really good spot. Oh, jeez. And speaking of spots, that 
deadlift power bomb looking thing shattering the ropes shaking the ropes and uh, here it goes axe handle single axe handle double axe handle G go to hell <laughs> vertical polish hammer double fly oh! knee into the pin vintage blaze Blaze Bowman wasting no time do the tag team finish, you yeah, mark. Yeah, do the tag team finish. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, well, we could still do, do your it. signature. Do the tag team finish. Ah. Uh, oh. Don't kip up, yeah. son. Yeah, don't kip up. Okay, good. Do your signature. Do you, do the move. What are you doing? What are you doing? You mark. Oh, back fist. Borderline Judas Effect look over at the chat. Deadlift, oh my. Deadlift military power slam. The gorilla the terry. Strength. Drop. The gorilla, that's right, the gorilla terry. Oh, Thank you. geez. What? We'll cut her out of nowhere. Well and done, back. Blaze. Well, what's like Lane setting up for? It's like every time we have a bowline tag team match, they come out and do something... Like, I'm just so, oh my goodness. Oh my. Over the shoulders. Death Valley Driver, that's vintage lane. The Bow Valley Driver. Sniff. Now, boys, both of you have a finisher stacked up. Do the Dude, tag team finish. Do the tag team finish, you freaking mark. No, not a backbreaker. Oh, and the toss. Well, Thanos could also set up for a tag team finish. Although, you know, we know what we really want here. Into the good corner. Counter, into good the corner, counter. Into the corner. Into, into the, the corner. corner. Into the corner. Do the tag team finish. Ah, uh, setting him up. Soften him up. Put him back in the corner. No. Pair of elbows. Double axe hammer. <laughs> Yeah, it, Shrek. <laughs> Shrek needs to watch out of there. He almost took out Derek Moore. Oh, and now Thanos is busted open. But the blow, uh, the blow line, the bow line, keeping their faces unbloodied. Their hands, on the other hand, they they They're tell a different story. Very much different. Up, uh, more bang. Oh, oh, he was gonna oh, go was for it! Bang. He was gonna go for it! Oh! Hot tag! Hot tag into Blaze Bowman. Shrek is now in the ring as well. Do, 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 do. Oh. Default driver, you mark! Still, the Lame. fact that we're seeing tag team finishers getting executed is incredible. It's too late, man. Working the leg of Shrek. I almost said Thanos. Oh. Tag oh, wait team. a minute. You can see a tag team finisher. Uh, no. Oh. oh. No. No. Okay, okay, okay. And to the outside goes Lane Bowman. What is Shrek thinking of right here? Nothing. Whatever it was, I think yeah, I think it was a little too hurt to go for whatever he was thinking of. Oh. Oof. Doesn't seem like a problem for Thanos. Got to get a good cinematic look. That's right. And back to the HUD. Oh. Alabama oh. no. No. Lane. Ain't no Alabama slamma this time. On the other side. Oh. Oh no, it's that back suplex on the apron again. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Lane, please. Please try to pay attention. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Remember, Thanos needs to get his momentum back up if he ever wants to do a tag team finish. 
Take a look at the chat. Gorillatory Press Slam Deadlift Variety. Can't believe we almost saw a big uh, more bang. I want a bowline tag team finish. So do I. Derek Mort. Shrek, what are you doing? Shrek about to fly? We did hit an elbow drop a moment ago. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, double axe handle. Never double mind. axe handle. No, shoulder tackle. Oh! That's a big flying shoulder block. One, two, kick out. I... Lane did listen. <laughs> you, you almost got me upset there, Lane. Lame and blame. <laughs> oh. Bring him to Dragon the corner. Like Do the tag team finish. Do the tag team finish. You got we two know you finishers. Do tag yeah. team finish. Two finishers. Do a si Do your signature if you want. Don't. No. <laughs> you mark. You mark. Not that we have anything against uh, Blaze Bowman. Uh, obviously. Come on. <laughs> Not that we have anything against Blaze Bowman. Absolutely great yeah. uh, member of the bow line. Great brother. Middle child. Uh, puts on phenomenal matches. Yeah, we just we're, we're we're so giddy having seen a tag team finish that we we're rabid for more. We are absolutely starving for tag team finishers. We've been starving for tag team finishers for a year. Oh. Unlike the entire world population, starving in general, starving for food, actual food. Working the arm, this somehow almost stuns Blaze Bowman. Good psychology is indeed stunning these days. <sighs> Sigh. Shoulder tackle. Uh, okay. Hot tag to Lane Bowman. Spam. I think he might have been going for something, but oh no! Vintage Rainmaker! Swamp Maker. The Swamp Maker. But Blaze is right there still. He's still in the ring. It doesn't count. That's right. Perfect position. Oh. Shrek is going for a finisher, I think. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, wait Lane. a minute. Reverse. The finish. Do the tag team finish. Do the tag team finish. Do the uh. tag team finish, you mark. Scoop in the slam. Big power slam, baby. And now... Yeah. Oh, oh. Lane, oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. Off the top rope with the choke slam. Oh, and the kick. That was his finish, by the way. That was his finish. Big time finish. Lane limping over to Blaze. Who oh, Blaze marking out. He marked out. Do the tag team finish. Do the tag team finish. That's, uh... That... Okay. Alright, sure. Okay. But you know what? A more bang was attempted. It was attempted. You! -hoo! Me? We're six no, inches away oh, from Oh, no, other. it's you! No, it's you! It's you! I mean... Yeah... Sullivan's versus Homeless Crisis match of the night. Oh, yeah. Match of the decade, because two tag team finishes. Two tag team finishes after being starved for years. We'll be right back. Known sex pest Dave Daniels makes his way to the ring. That's right. Not and we're back as well, just to let you know. Of course. But Of course. Oh, here he is. How do you do, fellow college girls? Oh, no. I'm also a college girl. You can tell by my big tits. You can tell by my fat ass. Oh, no. I, I heard that Dave Daniels went around uh, to Lariat uh, and Marcy after their match uh, and asked them if uh, they could practice the, their big girl move, whatever that is. Do the big girl move. 
<laughs> do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. <laughs> I can't I believe feel sick already. Uh, I can't believe we ruined. He was in season one. And now he's over with. He's turned heel in season three. That's right. I don't remember how that started, but fuck him. No sex past Dave Daniels. It's because he won the match at Backlash and had a creepy win victory motion. Oh, yeah. Well... For a women referee. Well, here is Jack O'Lantern representing the CMLL Appreciation Society. Is he, though? Is no. he? I mean, without El Jefe, is there really a CMLL Appreciation Society? Friggin' Roblox isn't even here tonight. No. Roblox is back home, given, uh, uh, given Fudge that good D. Do you think it would be better if friggin' Jack-O-Lantern comes out with Roadblock in the fudge and he just becomes the champion? I'd be all for it. I would be too, and I would also I, be I, for the fan fiction of Roadblock in the fudge. I, uh, just celebrating, uh, finding any excuse to celebrate. I'm oddly interested in a rivalry with Jack-O-Lantern and the Trudge Man for the championship. You know what? I could fuck with that. That would be good. And poor Fudge has to be torn between her 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 brother slash clone and her lover's friend and partner. Clone. But nevertheless, Jack O' Lantern is here with known sex pest Dave Daniels. I'm pretty sure Jack O' Lantern's pinned no se known sex pest Dave Daniels in Fatal Four Way match. Well, hopefully he does it in singles matches and ends his career. We don't need any more known sex pest Dave Daniels. We got crack addicts. That's all we need. The homeless Look, an appropriate crisis. level. Of, yeah, an appropriate level of evil is the homeless crisis being on the rise. Is the Homeless Crisis a face team? A heel team? I don't know anymore. They're, I, I mean... So they were a baby face team at first, but then Nick Sullivan. Nick Sullivan got over by wanting to end the Homeless Crisis. That's right, so now they're a heel tag team. There's Ooh. your answer. What an arm-dragging bulldog right there by Dave Daniels. Known sex best. Known sex best. Mothers, keep your daughters away. Mothers, keep yourselves away. Yeah. Lock your daughters away and then get into the same uh, uh, air raid shelter to get away from known sex pest Dave Daniels. <laughs> also, what the hell move was that? That, I mean, that we... little, like, running and headbutt. That he, was... he really is a sex pest. Look at this man. He exudes sex pest. You know, at the very least, he doesn't have a boring match going on right here. Oh, now that I've said that, I'm probably going to get cancelled on Twitter for uh, supporting known sex pests Dave Daniels. Whoa! No. Right, in, right into the chairs? Right into the chairs. And not only that, but you have to know that that was an excuse for known sex pest Dave Daniels to get close to Samantha Irvin. Hasn't she dealt with enough, dealt with enough from Dan Sullivan alone? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was like, please take her seat. It would have been the funniest thing ever if he just took specifically Samantha Irving's chair. Yeah. But AI won't do that. I got a chair for you, baby. Now come do the big girl move. I got a chair. I'm going to taunt with it. They're not going to go back to the seats. No. What does Samantha Irvin cam look like now? You know, that's a good question. Let me just... Uh... Samantha Irving, myself. Yep. And there we go. Yep. Nope. Flipping a bit of her hair. It's uh a bit closer to the ring, actually. A little closer. It's all right. It's a bit better. So yeah, I, I think we get 
like more than half of the ring from this position, but the moment they stand somewhere over there, we kind of lose that. Yeah, place. it's over. Well, look at Jack O' Lantern just caving in the. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I what think are he you wants. Doing? I think he wants to brain him. I think he does too, and I think he should. Absolutely cave his skull in on that turnbuckle. Please, do us all a favor. End the career, hell, end the life oh, hey, of Derek Moore. How are you? Hey, buddy. Oh, <laughs> I thought Whoa. he was going to elbow Derek Moore. So did I. <laughs> I was like, what's the play here? Oh. Yeah, take care of business, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Do the big girl move. Yeah, baby, I love it when you do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. Known sex pest Dave Daniels unable to lift up Jack O' Lantern as he goes all back and forth oh. right here. Wowee. It, it's springboard elbow. One, two, no can do. Not quite. But this could be Dave Daniels' chance with the reverse. Full Nelson! That's his vintage Dave Daniels! <laughs> Stunner by God. Things aren't looking good for Jack O'Lantern. Both of these men having a pretty good showcase here tonight. Known sex pest Dave Daniels and Jack O'Lantern. Known terror. Known no terror. terror. Known terror, but at the same time, if he could put known sex pest Dave Daniels away, he might become a known hero. Imagine if Freddy Krueger targeted criminals instead of, like, random-ass children. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what Soup. is Dave Daniels going Final for? cut oh. to the outside. Final cut. This okay. will stun. And he goes for the pin. Could this be it for Jack O' Lantern? No. No! Reminder that Jack O' Lantern lost to Jay Scanton in a triple threat match. Ugh. I mean, technically, he didn't get pinned in that match. Sure. Rainmaker. Big time Rainmaker. Oh, no! Yeah. Who did that? The consequences. Who did that? Yeah, Jack O' Lantern did. It was Jack O' Lantern? Yeah, he fe he's facing the consequences of his own act. Oh, oh. We can see the Jack Bomb. No, the Jack Bomb or the... Why do I want to say Friday Jack the bomb. 13th? Jack Bomb. That's the finish. That is the finish. Except yeah, it's it, not because it, he... Resiliency. Uh, but yes, he does, he does have Friday the 13th as well. Good point. But... Yep, the match is... The match is off. And it's ruined. Crunch. Yep. It's ruined. They're chanting AEW. Friggin' marks in the crowd. Oh, what a reversal. Oh. One move could end this match right here. No! Northern Lights, followed by... Oh, could we finally see a final cut? Usually, it's reversed by that point. Crowd chants one more time. And known sex pest, oh. Dave Daniels puts up an upset victory right there. Disgusting. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh. What? You can't do that to Derek Moore. Oh, no. Jesus. He's such a known sex pest that he'll even go after men. I mean, he is everyone's favorite referee. Can't blame him. We'll That's be right true. Back. We'll be right back. And we're back with the... Uh, oh, women. We, we, which, uh, the greatest women. I mean, after that last match, you kind of... You kind of feel a bit frightened <laughs> on women entering after that. But, but general manager Cody Rhodes wants women after a Dave Daniels match. Indeed, and now moving into... Uh, is scheduled for one fall. I think her 56th day as champion? 
Okay, let's uh Uh, let's see. Won it at main event. Yes. Then I need to pull Very out my phone because I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, we can't go back and check because we go by. We should definitely like count the episodes of Raw we've been doing. We're on episode fourteen, so that is. <clears throat> Between. I mean, we could al- we, we could also look at. I, I think there's a way, without switching to superstar mode, to actually look at how many days she's been champion. Otherwise, like I mean, could... yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, like in this very moment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in this very moment, it would have to. Is, is this is this immediately after? Um... Is this the Raw immediately after SummerSlam? Yeah, this is the Raw immediately after SummerSlam. So I think this would be then, in that case, 51 days, or 51st day as champion. I think. Romania, Bucharest. You know, Velvet Web was a champion before Akira Yamashita took the title off of her. Velvet Web was a transitional champion. She was. It's sad. Well, it would be sad. I mean, when you have someone like Laya, who kind of ended season two off with a bang, like, but Velvet Web hasn't had a lot of matches so far, but Akira Yamashita, Akira, has been doing absolutely fantastic this season. I say absolutely That's fantastic, cool. but I'm pretty sure she's lost to, like, Pamela Pink. Two or three times now. But it doesn't matter because... It doesn't matter because she was the last woman standing at the Survivor Series at SummerSlam Fatal 4-Way Elimination title match. That's right. And 51 days consecutive. Not quite a a 20th of the way to regaining her name and her soul. A percent. That's like 5%. Yeah. That is 5%, yes. Goes for a shotgun drop kick. Akira Yamashita looking strong here, but no, a DDT from Velvet Web. Starting things off fast, these two are. You know, one has to wonder if she fulfills that contract, does that also make the Sons of Hell go away, or are they just here? You know, they I might just sad. be here. I, I, I'd honestly be sad if the Sons of Hell had to disappear. Yeah, I, I, I feel like they're just here now, and it's just one of those, like, when Akira's like, well, what about the Sons of Hell? And then Satan's just like, I don't know, man. Like, it's... I, I don't know, man. This is a monkey's paw type deal. It is both yeah, like, a monkey's paw and a contract. Literally, if, yeah, like, you, if you complete your contract, we'll, give, we'll make you look more human. Stop looking yeah, like but, a devil. Yeah, like, but really apart from that, it's just kind of like... Like, at this point, Sons of Hell is just its own thing. Like, it's got nothing to do with this contract. Sons of Hell is so over. It's unfortunate that they can't win a match. Yeah, it's a, a big shame. <laughs> I love this idea of just, like, they've just been summoned, and, and when Akira's bargaining with, with Satan, Satan's like, what? I don't even know how they got out, man. That just kind of <laughs> happened. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wait, what do you mean, uh, Gabriel? <laughs> Wait, Gabriel Nashville got out? <laughs> Those losers? <laughs> oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't disrespect the Sons of Hell. They may be defeated, but they'll put on a good match doing so. I'm not, I don't want to look at that angle. They will put on a good match. They will put on a good match. <laughs> I just like this idea now that yes, they were released into the world as, as part of a Kiriyamashita's contract, but... Uh, completely coincidentally, it's just they're just there, and even Satan is like, "Wait, fuck! How did they get out? What do you mean? Hold on, yeah, I need a picture. I need to make sure. What do you? Oh my god, they actually got out. What? I mean, they're not going to do anything. They haven't won. They're not exactly the strongest of my minions. Sure, I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm more surprised than anything. Like, I'm more shocked than than scared. Good for them, I guess, but, like, nah, it, it, they're not, 
if you complete your contract, they're there. It just it because they they just I really don't know how they got out to begin with. So you know, it's just I don't know your problem? Question mark. Uh, are they doing anything that deserves for them to come back? Uh, that's true. D are they that much of a problem? Look, you know what? Look, I Honestly, hear you got these. I, I hear you got these tag team champions that everyone hates. Yeah, honestly, like, I feel like I'm doing you like this is just a freebie onto your contract. You just have a good tag team that'll job for better tag teams. Lucifer babyface angle. <laughs> Lucifer is a freaking. I can't wait for God versus Lucifer at WrestleMania. <laughs> Where God is the fucking heel. God is the heel. <laughs> Lucifer is the face. Sons of Hell come in. <laughs> Look, I don't know, me man. I... And you will know me by my name, Yahweh. Boo! Boo! Send us to hell. We want Satan. <laughs> We want Satan. <laughs> we want Satan. Oh, this isn't even a bad match. It's just we've gone down a rabbit hole. We're building up the Akira Machina Demon storyline by talking exactly. about the, the Sons of Hell. Velvet Web, I'm sorry. You're Hungarian or something. Yeah, Romanian. Romanian. Um, but my, uh, um... Uh, my roommate's brother, uh, looking at Velvet Web, was like, Hatsune Miku? Yes. <laughs> it's canon. Velvet Web is Romanian Hatsune Miku. Romanian Hatsune Miku. Which makes sense. We're in the future. Something like that can happen. Where we have holograms. We have That's holographic right. Paul Bearer. We have I don't see why not. I don't see why not, uh, Romanian ripoff Hatsune Miku. Oh, and an Enziguri from Velvet Web. Wow. I feel a sneeze coming on. We want Satan. We, <laughs> we want Satan. Chat, <laughs> chat, you better be chanting we want Satan right now. It's... There are three things you have to do when you're watching the universe mode. Raise them up, them chant off. for Satan, and tag team finishers. That's it. Know. Oh, double and the, stomp. and the fourth unofficial thing is to continue to write more Roadblock Fudge fanfiction. Oh, God. 18 and, plus fans. Oh! And we're, that, that's the finish. Akira Yamashita dominating all the women in this business. I can't wait for a good rivalry. Uh, good match. We'll be right back. And we're back in what is an actually interesting matchup. Uh, yes, sir. Colt Everett, after beating up Femboy Friday, making his way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley. Drunk off of moonshine, you could see it in his eyes. He got his mask hunting phase over and done with. Now he's got eyes on one thing. The title. The A Championship. That piece of cardboard. It, I don't even know what we're doing with the A Championship. Uh, well, I mean, it retains water well. And, and, and you know, where, where there's a food shortage. Where you have to wrestle to eat, not get paid. Anything that retains water is valuable. Like a cactus. I don't. I don't think that's how cactuses work. I'm not smart. It's fine. You don't have to be smart to raise them up. Raise them up for what can be potential singles match of the night. I mean, we all know that the uh, Sullivan's versus the Homeless Crisis match of the decade, right there. That's right. There are just too many, like, good matches here tonight. Good in quotation marks. Because we got... 
We got Marcy and Lariat having a very fast paced back and forth match. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, Marcy winning. Marcy winning was a surprise, an upset. Um, Akira Yamashita versus Velvet Web, a good match. We ruin by talking about our fan fiction. Ruined or enhanced? Enhanced. My mistake. I just hope that everyone enjoys watching as they enjoy hearing you and me, Ron. Oh, yes. Who who, uh, are not brothers, but the chemistry, instantaneous. Chemistry is there. It is always there, and I always love it. You're like the friend I've always wanted. And I have now. I don't know (laughs) what I was saying. It doesn't matter, because all you need to know is do the tag team finish. It happened. Do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. Raise them up. Listen. We got the tag team finish. We just need custom signs, please. Yeah, for Matches... the love of fucking god. Okay, uh, enough about that. Here's an interesting match. Colt Everett and Drew Bowman. This is the first time they're facing each other. Period. That is a period. Yeah. Full stop. And already, Drew Bowman. Drew Bowman absolutely taking it to Colt Everett. Oh, oh but oh. It, starting with that Uranagi, starting with almost a Bach Rodham, but not quite. Uranagi, uh, moon salt into a Centon, but I think Cold Everett saw that coming, and now he's trying to get some moves in. A bit back and forth going on. Derek Moore is in this one with the cravat. Oh. Mean cravat driver. <coughs> <coughs> I, I needed to take a breath there. I didn't even get myself a drink for this one. Cole this... Everett saying, if you're going to hit me with a Uranagi, it better be a proper Bach Rodham. Drop toe hold into a rope break. Drew Bowman, what in the world are you doing? I was going for psychology. Oh. Another attempt. Come on, Drew. Drew Cole knows what you're going to do. You. The battle between the beer and the cowboy clothesline. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Oh! Honestly, this is the closest thing Colt Everett has to the main event scene right now. Being one-on-one with a almost Grand Slam champion in the form of Drew Bowman. That's right. Being one-on-one with a champion. A one-on-one with a champion. Okay, buddy. Pump handle thing. And... Oh, my... Oh, this is just... Colt Everett just needs that Marcy win right here. That Marcy tides turning in his favor. Not against Drew Bowman. I mean, he he needs to at least get some offense in. A good amount yeah. of offense to make it look like Drew Bowman didn't just have a match with a local competitor. What, what, what? <laughs> local random guy we picked up off Ooh, the street. Oh, Booper knee. The Booper knee. Booper knee sounds like a word. The booper knee. Moonsault by. Hello, my name is Smith. I'd like to hit you with my booper knee, please. Oh, discus oh. big boot out of nowhere. Out of yeah, this is not good for our A champion. Not c- there yet. The battle between the cowboy clothesline and the beer is at hand. Oh my. Once Double again, axe solid shoulder. Match. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Drew Bowman saw that coming, and, and he finally <laughs> hit that move. <laughs> the leg, oh, what? running knee, a King low, Chasa, kind of a whatever. low booper knee, high angle low booper knee. D- table, table spot, table spot. Wait For a real minute, li- please. Oh my, please. 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 We need this. A tag team fit. Oh my goodness, he tried to go for it. He tried to go for that cowboy clothesline, but Drew Bowman saw. This is what makes him a champion. And. Oh. My. Power. 
Bower Palm. The Bower Palm, that's right. No! Cold Everett kicking out at two. The resiliency on display here. Fast paced action, just like the triple threat match at SummerSlam. Oh, uh, well, unfortunately, the crowd has to chant for AEW. Trudge might put that on the moon, boys. Calm down. They. I think I went deaf for a second. I don't recall them saying uh, fight forever. It was very brief, but they just started doing it like a minute ago. Uh, it must be so ingrained in my mind that it's an awful thing for them to say that I just auto-censored it. I don't blame you. Oh, look at the way Drew Bowman is firing back the counters. Back and forth. Both of these men exhausted. Come on. Super kick. There it is. And another super kick. And Drew Bowman. He's marking up and he's pointing. <laughs> he raised him up the wrong way. Oh, Dice Tope Bear. Now do the table spot. Beer him through the st Oh no. Uh, Ooh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, this is bad. This, this is, is bad good. I'm not champion. sure why you think it's bad. Well, no, it's a bad spot for the A champion. As a match, this is fantastic. This is absolutely great. Yeah. I mean, it's no uh it's no Bradley Knight versus Drew Bowman levels of uh hype, but you know, Colt Everett's been building himself up these past couple of weeks with victory after victory against Femboy Friday. <laughs> I mean, Femboy Friday is a competitor for you and me. <laughs> beef Cutter! It, 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 beef Cutter, Springboard Beef Cutter. Beef Cutter, that's, that's the finish. that's it! That's it. Do not... Do not disrespect the beef cutter. That's a finisher, yeah, just like the not. tortellini. We saw a fake. We saw a fake Bach Rodham. We saw the Bauer Palm. We saw the dive through beer, and now the springboard beef cutter to finish the match. Your yes. winner, your champion. He ducked a he ducked a cowboy clothesline. Don't forget about that. That's right. Raise him the fuck up one more time, please. <laughs> Derek Moore, where are you looking at? Checking on Samantha Irvin, I think, but... He's following where Drew Bowman is pointing. We'll be right back. And we're back. Main event here. As we get to see the triple threat of all triple threats. Oh, I miss this entrance. So do I. Elimination style. He brings out the clock to show you all what time it is. It's time to cast a spell. That's right. Laying his magic on. He puts a spell on you, baby, and now you're his. Take Woo! a step. Yeah! And, the spell. and the spell's uh. over. You know, those uh, three-second <laughs> activated mounts, you know. That's right. Oh, man, I miss the times where he got them to raise them up. Raise them up. Everything can be perfect. Raise them up. Raise them up. Repeatedly raise them up. Keep raising them up repeatedly. You know, while, while we do love and appreciate Minnie Manx's time as the Japan United States champion, when we got to see Grand Slam Mank, I agree. It, it No entrance will be as good as this when he doesn't have his belt, when he can cast his spell. He's Grand Slam now. He doesn't need a title anymore. That's you know right. What? He is he Grand Slam Mank. He needs a What's new gimmick. You and I both know what that new gimmick should be. I think I do. It involves a guy named and Drew. Last name Bowman. Yeah, I, I, I think 
I, I, I think it's got to come full circle finally for Mini Mank to join the bowline and become Mini Bow. There's, there's Fast Lane, there's Payback, there's Survivor Series, and then I think. TL, is TLC still a thing? I don't know anymore. I don't know either. Look, I'm just excited for the return of Raw Underground. I. Oh, man. We, Cody Rhodes st still having, uh, you know, has to deal with the copyright of 7 Eleven, so. Yeah, w w once we get that, you know, hammered down, once we get that, you know, squared away. Once we get to 7 Eleven and people can bring the custom signs. That's right. Boo. Um, uh, enough ignoring Lunatic. Th this season has been the greatest season for Lunatic thus far. He's oh, yeah. He has beaten the Mini Mank three separate occasions. One of them was when he was still the champ. He's beaten the Trudge Mank, who's our current champ. He's he's beaten the Trudge Mank in a triple threat contest before. Yeah, this has oh, really been a turning point for him. Ah, let's but. not forget, the Iron Man of Backlash has returned. Oh my goodness. So great to see Danger back in Raw. Will, will, will someone be tasting the danger tonight is the question. I'm not sure how he hasn't been like fired after beating Jay Scanton and stealing his money in the bank briefcase. Because, because this is wrestling, I swore. Because this is professional fucking wrestling. Cody Rhodes, if he wasn't so busy with, you know, uh, <clears throat> 7-Eleven deals and sponsorships... Uh, he probably would have fired Chris Danger already. But I can't deny that Danger, a powerful man, and he gets Russian leg sweep double teamed by Lunatic and uh, Mini Mank. Not. Oh! Ooh. But it's just a full circle when it comes to these triple threat matches. But let's not forget elimination style. They can do anything. That's and the right. DDT. Elimination. Limited, that, that means there's no excuse. The winner is the winner. No Someone has to survive this to the end. Just flying forearms every which way. It's the new super kick. Woo. One takes down the other and the other comes in for the kill. You know, you guys can just fight on the outside. Side Russian front leg sweep. Front rush. Ah. <laughs> the front Russian leg sweep. Front Russian leg sweep. <laughs> by the mini mank. And a super kick out of nowhere by Lunatic. Danger rolls to the outside, leaving mini mank and Lunatic in the ring. Danger trying to gain his momentum back after being. Easily defeated by the Trudge Mank at SummerSlam. Yeah, that was shocking. Oh my goodness. Oh. He's got a light rod. <laughs> what in the world? He just threw it and nothing happened. Well, he has to throw it again. Oh. oh the Mini Mank is too big of a boy. Stop trying to grab him. He's fat. Oh, the light rod. Oh, it's it disappeared for a second. Heel kick. What are you doing, Mini Mank? One. It would be such a shame if Chris Danger was the first eliminated in this match. I agree. Imagine having an Iron Man of a performance so amazing that you essentially sidelined yourself because of how over you were compared to everyone else. What's he bringing out this time? Is that a microphone? I think it is. He's gonna cut a promo? <laughs> you see your inmaker. No. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, never mind. Reversed? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cave Mankin! Cave Mankin! Oh, man. What in the world? <laughs> could, could, could we see the Mank Bank? Oh, they stepped oh, on the microphone. 
That's okay. Uh, Mank Bank! <laughs> Mank Bank! I looked at it for a second and there was the Mank Bank! Out of nowhere. Someone get the microphone out of the ring. Yeah, you marks. The Slim Jim! The Slim Jim! Oh, you wanted light tube, you wanted microphone, and you wanted Slim Jim, and you got all three. Uh, uh, the feedback on the microphone. It, it's, it's distracting, but uh, Slim Jim provided to us by 7-Eleven. We're still working on that sponsorship. Oh, he's got the megaphone? Megaphone Mank? Mega Mank? Mega Mank? I'd watch that film. <laughs> oh, busting the lunatic wide open. I, I don't think Mini Mank... You know, the, Lunatic has gotten three wins uh, over the Mini Mank. I, I'm pretty sure Mini Mank is... That this is personal. He does not want this to be a fourth. And he's making sure... That it won't be a fourth. He's trying to make sure that the Lunatic, at the very least, doesn't get the victory here tonight. That's right. A door? Huh? Is that the legendary forbidden door? I think that's the forbidden door. Uh, danger. It, with the big boot out of nowhere. <laughs> Taste the danger. I'm into Lunatic. The danger. One. Two. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, no can do. What's the mini man thinking? The sledge? To face the trudge? Oh. No. Danger. Showing us all why he was the greatest star at payback. Not pay. What? Discus back fist and he's still standing. I mean, the mini Mac is a big, big boy. It's no surprise, but he, he's out on his feet, it looks like. That's that's just amazing. He, Lunatic hit his finish on the mini Mac who hits the German to end all Germans. And everyone is outside. Remember, falls count anywhere. Ta door. 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 You know what we can see? Hopefully, maybe. A table spot. We're never gonna see a table spot. Yeah. Okay, finally. Well we, well, we say that, but then again, we did see a tag team finish. Yeah, we were close. Oh. Oh, please. Oh, what is this? Oh. Discus. Mini Mank. DDT. Oh. 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 Oh, there my it is. goodness. My Had to get a few knee strikes in first. Uh, feedback. Yeah, that feedback is killer. Oh my. One, two. Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Not quite ending it for the lunatic. It's a Northern Lights coal. <laughs> it's a suplex. A German suplex. Uh. That's right. Oh, what is this? Ripcord. Oh. oh, not quite. Lunatic with a reversal. Danger. Not sure what to do. Reverse STO. Rolling out of the ring goes the mini mank, but Danger trying to stop him goes for the Oh pin. no! Not like this. One, two. No can do. No can do. Mini mank Lunatic out at two. With the megaphone. Oh, I thought he was gonna shove it up the mega. Mini yeah. Mini Manx ass. Shades of the mouth of the south, but wait a minute, not like this. Okay. Not Lunatic almost stole another. Quite. What is oh. it about Lunatic that he just seems to have the Mini Manx number? Single knee Mank Bank. Oh, that what in the world? Insult. That has to be an insult to steal the Mank Bank. Leg drop. Danger v. Lunatic. One. Two. Oh my goodness. Mini Man cobbling. Gets back in the ring. Pick, pick up the Slim Jim. 
Let's see the pick of the Judas effect. Judas effect on to Chris Danger. And resiliency for good measure. Okay. Yeah, we had Ooh. to see the resiliency of Chris, Jane, Chris Danger after that. Boot. Down goes Lunatic and a Comigo yay for good measure. Oh, <laughs> nice dodge Ooh. by the mini mank. Oh my. The Woot and Bootin, as that move is known as. DDT, danger back in the ring, fighting Lunatic again. Oh, the mini mank is hyped. Stepping on the Slim Jim. Oh. Taste the danger! The <laughs> Lunatic is immediately rolling out after tasting that danger. Indeed. Make him quit. This is an I quit match now. Yeah. False count anywhere. Elimination style, I quit. Tell me, do you quit? <laughs> Did he just batter his finger? He might have. Oh, my. This Down goes the chaos. main mate. One. Two. No can do. Not even resiliency. Lunatic. No. One-on-one -on -one in the ring with the mini mank. Not that it matters because it's elimination style. Rainmaker. Danger's got the sledgehammer. This time Minimank he means business. Why he was, yeah, that's right, but Minimank no proved one why takes he was advantage. the first Grand Slam champ. No one able to do anything with the sledge. No. Oh, but the Minimank. Oh. Docking. Go. And now Lunatic with the sledge. And he's oh, the first there one to it is. It, And he drops it immediately. Well, why not? I'm trying to take Chris Danger out of this. Oh, that's Ooh, it! That, that hurts. That, that hurts. That just hurts right there. It, prophetic words earlier that Chris Danger had his breakout performance only to have oh, over no. himself and ruined it. Oh, no. Again. Again, stealing the mank bank. Not like this. One, two. Resiliency by the mini mank. The one move. Brilliant. One move to end it all. Oh. Oh. Ripcord. Ripcord. Line. Okay. Okay. There goes danger. Poor Chris. Danger. Well, you know, actions have consequences. And attacking Jay Scan. Oh, this these is are the it. consequences this of your act. This is oh. it. Is Six thirty. <laughs> That's it. I had to do it. Six you had to freaking do it. 30. And that's it. No more oh, having the number of the goodness. mini bank. He's refacing the trudge bank. Here is your winner, I can't believe we're seeing mini bank versus trudge three at uh, fast payback. Whatever the next pay-per-view is. Fast payback. That's the name of it. Fast payback. It sure is fast payback. Greatest of all time. Woo. I'm a bit disappointed that it wasn't Danger v. Mini Mank at the end there. Or at least, you know, Danger shouldn't have been pinned first. But we'll find that out as it all develops. That's it for this episode of Monday Night Raw. I've been your host as always, and with me tonight is The Ron. And we'll see ya when we'll see ya. Uh... Oh. See ya. See ya.